This is one of multiple IP addressing and subnetting scenarios. Rather than just working out the subnets for a scenario, we're gonna work them out and then configure the devices so that we can practically design and configure a Cisco IP network. In the previous video, we configured this GNS3 network and we proved that devices can ping one another. As an example, Ubuntu 1 or PC1 can ping both Ubuntu 3 and Ubuntu 4. In other words, this host can ping these hosts on the right-hand side. Now, one of the things that we did was we configured the serial link with this subnet 192.168.1.128.26. Now that subnet can support 62 hosts. That's a waste of IP addresses when in actual fact, a serial link only requires two IP addresses. So we allocated this full subnet to the serial link. The host portion currently contains six bits. Two to the power of six minus two gives you the option to configure 62 host addresses, but we only require two. So actually, all we need are two bits in the host portion, which will give us the option of having two host addresses in a subnet. Again, there are two formulas. For networks, you use the formula two to the power of x, where x is the number of bits. For hosts, you use two to the power of x minus two, where two is the number of bits in the host portion. We have to subtract two because we need a network address and a broadcast address in IP version four. So two to the power of two minus two gives us four, minus two, which equals two. So taking this subnet, which we've currently got configured on the serial link, let's subnet it further. So as an example, on router one, currently show IP interface serial two slash zero shows us that 192.168.1.129 slash 26 is configured on the serial interface. And that's because we configured this address on the serial interface. Now let's change that and optimize the subnet. So we only need two bits for the host portion. So we can extend the subnet portion as follows. Now we are taking a already configured subnet and we're subnetting it again. So I'm gonna denote this portion as the network portion because that's what we were given. This is the new subnet portion, and this is the new host portion. So that's what we had originally. We've now changed it to slash 30. So this would be the new first subnet. The second subnet would not be 128. We'd have to cycle through the binary options so we'd make this a one, which in decimal is four. So 128 plus four. And let me update the subnet mask portion while we're here. So that's the new subnet mask. So this would be 128 plus four, which is 132. So that would be the second subnet. Now you might notice a trend here the difference between 128 and 132 is four. So the third subnet would be 132 plus four, which would be 136. If you wanted to work out the binary, you would cycle through the various options. So current on this wire, no current on this wire. That's an eight in decimal. So 128 plus eight in decimal is 136. So if I were you, I'd only work out, say, the first two or three subnets and then just see the pattern. These are incrementing in fours. So the next one would be 140. So just look at the pattern and it'll be a lot easier to work out the next subnet. Now, some other tricks that you can use. If this is the next subnet, then the first subnet broadcast address 
is one less than the next subnet. The next subnet is 132, so this subnet's broadcast address is 131. Again, to work out the broadcast address, you fill the host portions with ones. So this is 128 plus two plus one, or it's one less than the next subnet. So that's the new first subnet broadcast address. So the first host address is one more than the subnet address. So it'll be 129. In binary, it looks like that. The new first subnet last host is one less than the broadcast address. So the broadcast address is 131. So this will be 130. In binary, you fill the host portion with binary ones except for the last bit. Here we've only got two bits, so this is on and this is off. So that gives you the last host in the subnet. So that's an example of taking a subnet that we've created from a previous subnet and subnetting it again to get new subnets in the network. So currently on our network, we're using a slash 26 here. What we'll do is change that to a slash 30 with the first host being 192.168.129 slash 30, and the second host being 192.168.130 slash 30. So that's the IP address on the first host, or first router. This is the IP address on the second router. We're gonna stay with 129 and 130 but we're gonna change the subnet mask. So interface serial two slash zero, IP address 192.168.1.129. And this now needs to be, the mask is a slash 30 because it's eight plus eight plus eight plus six. So slash 30 mask. So this needs to change to 192.168.1.128 slash 30. That's the mask you'll often find on serial links because it supports two host addresses. So again, this is a slash 30 mask because we've got 30 binary ones in the subnet mask. So this is 255 .255 .255 .252. So this is gonna be 252 as the IP address. Notice the relationship goes down. It has come up again, but we will probably have problems running it that way. So this side also needs to be 252. In other words, a slash 30. Relationship has come up. Show IP interface serial two slash zero. Notice the mask now used is a slash 30. And on the side show IP interface serial two slash zero. Notice the mask used is a slash 30. So can router one ping router two? Yes, it can. Can PC one still ping PC three? Yes, it can. And can it ping PC4, yes it can. So let's trace to 192.168.165. You can see it goes to router one, router two, and then the remote PC. So we've successfully updated the subnets in this topology to only use two IP addresses on the serial link. The reason for doing that is we can increase the number of subnets that we have. So rather than only having one subnet, we've now increased the number of subnets to two to the power of four. So we've actually got 16 
separate subnets that we can use, each of which support two host addresses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.